Okay, for this week astrology summary, I've called my friend Mike and I'm going to share from my perspective what's happening astrologically for the week. So um, basically what we experienced last week was some interesting squaring off of energies. We were feeling the contrast between our perception of reality and other people's perceptions of reality. And we were not necessarily in judgment of that, but definitely recognizing what resonates and what does not resonate. And this was an important stage for us because we are learning how to have discernment without judgment. And there's nothing wrong with judgment. Judgment, discernment is just another way of describing that something may not resonate with us. It doesn't mean it's not allowed. It just means that it's not what we're choosing. And so that's the difference between judgment and discernment. We may just not be choosing something. And that's, it's just a way of perceiving. That's just our way. So that some people may have experienced that as strong conflict in their lives. Some people may have just learned that like, okay, I need to just uh, step over here for a little while. So however we dealt with it has to do with our disposition. But this week, that conflict has lessened that like strong squaring energy has actually released and what we're experiencing more of this week is um it's gonna feel like we trust like we have a little bit more faith in this process that that when when we've let go of some of those things that we are we don't need to be attached to or um, and we really honor our own resonance, there will be a little bit more ease this week. And we will actually step into a little bit more of, okay, I'm, instead of looking back that way at what I think is not for me, I'm going to be looking this way at what I think is for me. And so we may feel that that, that is a little bit more in flow. There will be also, when we do that, it, it's a reversal of our behavior. So in the past, our behavior could have been to look back at that and to spend a lot of energy kind of in that, not combat mode, but in that like er, er, er mode. So our behavior is going to shift so that we're behaving in a way that's better, that's like a little bit more efficient, a little bit more in flow. It's behaving mm -hmm. in resonance with what we actually believe and care about. And so that will be the, the shifting of the tide this week. And to give this some context for the entire year, if I may briefly, uh, this entire year has been like a growth process of learning how to ride a new type of bicycle. I've shared this metaphor a couple of times this year, but basically in January, it was like we were given this new vehicle to learn how to ride. And for the first few months, we, we were like, wow, this is, a, this is kind of cool. And we were riding our bicycle and the training wheels were still on. So if we had coping me mechanisms to lean from one side or to the other, we didn't necessarily fall off the bicycle. We were able to still operate this vehicle without necessarily being injured. So mm. then in mid-March, uh, no, actually it was the beginning of April, the training wheels were taken off. And so as soon as the training wheels were taken off, if we had strong leanings from one side to another, we fell off the bicycle immediately. Like, mm. like I personally experienced as soon as the lockdowns happened, I just fell right off the bicycle. <laughs> I was trying not to. I was like, la, 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 I'm fine. But I, I had coping mechanisms about la, la, la that caused me to fall down. And so I, I got back on because I've known that we were going to be doing this. So I got back on the bicycle and I began riding again until another coping mechanism showed up that caused me to fall off the bicycle. So for that middle quarter, we were learning how to re be in this new vehicle without the training wheels on. And the amount of times we fell off is irrelevant. It's how many times we got back on the bicycle that counts because the more that we get back on and we learn like if we keep falling over to the right over and over and over without correcting it, we're going to fall off. We're going to, it's going to hurt on the right side. That, that coping mechanism is going to eventually wear off and eventually we're going to get the point and stop leaning to the right. So we had that period of time from um, April, May, and June to feel out where those leanings were on that, on that bicycle. So some people during that time 
decided not to get back on the bicycle. Some people decided to just not do it. And this is a metaphor for those of us that got back on the bicycle. We know what we're talking about. <laughs> like we get this metaphor, right? So there are some of us that decided to stay on the bicycle. And when we moved into the third quarter, which is what we're still in, we actually learned how to get our stride. We're actually practicing riding a bicycle without feeling like we're going to fall off at any moment. And it's, it's us getting a little bit stronger in our core, a little stronger in our, in our awareness of who we are and what we stand for and how we see the world and taking responsibility for that and creating from that place. So that's what we're doing in this third quarter, which is strengthening our right bike riding skills so that when we enter the third quarter, we can actually ride with other riders who feel like they're going in the same direction we are. And I called this in the beginning of the year before I knew anything about COVID, I called it a bike race that no matter what, even if you fell off the bike and didn't get back on, or you got back on and had learned how to ride well, that everyone was going to be entered into the bike race of their life starting <laughs> in November. <laughs> and that bike race is going to look like people are flying and it's going to look like a shit show. Like it's just whatever, however anyone is riding their bicycles, that's how they're going to be riding them. What Whether was the date for that? That'll be after November 13th. Okay. Wow. So there's a lot of reasons for that date. There's a lot of conjunctions happening on that date. Every one of these checkpoints is because of an astrological situation that I've observed throughout the year. And so I have my reasons for creating these sort of quarters. Um, and I can go into depth somewhere else about that. But for the sake of this summary, we are in September beginning to look around to see who we want to ride with during the bike ride. So we're like, oh, you, you're, I like the way you're riding. Let's, let's, let's ride together. Let's be on the same bike team. And so in October, we're going to be like, just checking all of our gear. We're going to get prepared. We're going to sign our names on the, on the bike ride, like bike race list. And then in November, it's going to be go time. So that's what we're looking at. And, um, yeah, so this is my summary. And thank you so much for listening to this overview. Um, do you see how this is relevant to your life? You know, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just had this uh, in incident with uh, someone on the team of the book that I'm writing. And uh, maybe it's no longer on the team, but but like the the view that this person had was so stark opposite of mine and I'm like how did this happen you know and and I see now why and yeah that's really a great mirror there that I just got from you I really appreciate that yeah well thank you so much I I hope this reached all of my other friends that I'm creating these videos for and of course if any of you find this valuable and you think it would be valuable to share with your friends, please share as much as you can. I've got the summary also listed with all the different astrologers that I pay attention to. And um, of course, my website also has, I have write-ups about each of the reasons why I've chosen these astrologers and how to find them yourself. So um, I'm, I'm creating a resource for people during this time. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating a resource so that we can learn to navigate and find our stride in this, in this beautiful ride that's life. And um, so thank you for listening. And I'm looking forward to uh, sharing again next week.